We got a friend all the way from Bend, Oregon. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Brian White. Welcome. Um, hopefully you enjoy. We're going to have a little fun here with the with my two dogs. Um, I'm going to walk. I'm going to have you guys judge which dog wins between these two. And I'm going to walk the course real quick and uh, show you what we're going to do real quick. And what I'm looking for is control of the sheep, hit all my obstacles. Uh, whenever the sheep are outside the line to the next obstacle, you'd be taking points if I was trialing, but maybe you'll be nicer to me. But anyway. Uh, so I'll walk the course here real quick, or I'll jog it. Um, the sheep will be over here. Out here, I don't know if they'll, I'll pick them up wherever they end up settling, and then I'll fetch them in a line to this cone, and I'll bring them around my back. That's the outrun, lift, fetch. This starts the drive. I'll drive them up here. I'll drive them up to this panel through this panel. You know, lines, if I can have good lines, that's good. You know, if it gets a little wobbly, you'd be taking points from me. So we go through here, we'll head to the, this should be a straight panel, but we're, we're making do right there. It'll work. And then we're gonna go to the, you know, a workmanship, workmanlike manner line over to the Z shoot here. Uh, through, through the Z shoot up to the Y panel. Again, keeping them on a good line. Through the Y panel, I'm not going to walk at all because I'm tired already. <laughs> up to here, and we got, I don't have a lot of time, so we're just going to have fun and get her done. And then try to go through that panel, we, the Y shoot, and up and start a cross drive through that through those gates right there. It's kind of representing gates. So staying up here as best I can. This is a hard move to make in such a small, I run in big field trials. So this is, <laughs> this is a little different, but we're gonna try up to here. And this is gonna be tough because you gotta bring your dog in front of the sheep if it makes sense, which if I were trialing, you would be pointed heavily for that. But anyways, we're gonna, through here and then down to the pen and see who does it the quickest and the most efficient. And you guys, at the end, with your applause, we're going to say which one you think won. Hang on a second. So all of us are going to vote on who we think is going to be the winner. Yes. Unbeknownst to everybody out front, there's pink sheep back here. Really? That's what Tootie Bland does at night, is she lays awake and dreams of making sheep pink. I know, it's weird. But if I am correct, do these dogs not represent two different teams? Yeah, I'm gonna introduce them right now. Okay. Scoop and Rio. Wait, Scoop, you're Rio, Rio. Uh-oh, the sheep are out already. Rio, got to fix his cape. Scoopy, come on. Scoop, scoop, lie down. I got to fix his cape, hold on. Come here, guys, that'll do. This is Scoop right here. Rio, Rio. So, so this, these two are going to run off. They're uh, ones representing the gals and one the boys, and we'll see who reigns superior. I'm going to take these things off before they break their necks. So you're telling <laughs> me that? All right, which one's in the blue? Scoop. Scoop. All right. So guys, lie down. Lie down. Hey. So I'm going to turn this mic off in a minute so I can concentrate on them hearing okay. me and listening All right. to me. So guys. We're going to be cheering for Scoop. Ladies, you're going to be cheering for Rio. Good old-fashioned boys against girls, like fifth grade, right? All right, hang on a second. I'm going to take this out of my ear. Real quick, just the fellas, make a little noise one time. One, two, three. 
Why do I feel like this is gonna be ridiculous? Ladies, where are you? Ah, hell, if you can't beat them, join them. Guys, cheer for the girls, too. We're gonna let ladies first. Mr. Rio. Come on, Rio. Told you the sheep were pink. Before I start, I want to thank uh, Justin and all the guys back here for helping. I mean, they're the best, these people, Tootie. Amazing. Hey. Amazing. Real quick, I'd also like to thank Pritchard's Whiskey for uh, leading to the idea of turning sheep pink, apparently. So I'm very proud and honored to be here and do this. So let's rock. All right, ladies. Now, the one thing I noticed that because ladies did go first, the only hiccup in this entire thing was that a man was left in charge to open the gate and took too long. I'll work on that. Okay. <laughs> I'll get better next year. <laughs> yeah. Here, light. Stand. Stand there. Come. Come. Shh. Shh.
They don't like to quit. Come here. Come here. Rio. Rio's a little bit of a show off. Scoop, that'll do. Uh, if it looks boring, that's usually a good run. So, uh, I'm gonna start using that. Hey, if, uh, if I sound boring, it means I'm doing really good. <laughs> Scoop, that'll do. Scoop. So I'm just gonna pick them up where they lay. And then I'll try not to go around the post the wrong way this time. That was a handler error, so don't, don't dock Rio for that. It's, we're usually the problem, but that's another story. <laughs> just like a man, just creeping up on him. How about it, fellas? Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. How about that for an old man? Nine years old. Anyway, you find out who won this thing. How many of you think the guys won it? How many of you think the ladies won this competition? I got an idea. How many of you are just glad that uh, Brian White, Scoop, and Rio were all three here to entertain us all and roll the horse? A big thank you to Brian White, Scoop, Rio, the entire gang, and even the pink sheep. Crazy. What a dog. What a dog. <laughs>